Hi, this is Magician Chuck. If you know, we're going to do some scary stuff today, Sherry. Oh, boy. <laughs> Here we have inanimate objects. Throughout the years, thousands of years, everybody has seen inanimate objects come to life. Magicians have used them. Right over here, if you're watching very closely, we have a pack of cards that's put into this gentleman's mouth. And the selected playing cards would be found. If you watch his eyes, can you see his eyes moving? Yeah. All right, now Ooh. watch. Oh, the cards pop up. Wow. Now, right over here, we have a little friend, a little toy that's found in everybody's attic. <laughs> Come on, you could cut those. There oh. you go. Hey, cut that out. <laughs> well, you know what? Moving right along, we have a little friend, my little friend Randy. I've been using him for uh, many, many years. Yeah. And you know what? So even ventriloquists use inanimate objects. That's true. That's what do you got to say, Randy? Uh, gobble, 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 gobble. Hey, cut that out. <laughs> gobble, you're the one of us. One of us. Why are you saying that? I like attention. Well, so do I. Yeah. 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 Oh, well, you're adorable. Uh, <laughs> I cut that out, Randy. We'll put you back over here. He doesn't look a day over 10, does he, Sherry? No, not at all. I've been using him for 35 years. <laughs> but the whole reason of this video is to teach you about Robert the Doll. You will find him in Key West at the East Martello mm, Museum. Interesting. A very cool place. I'd recommend anybody going if you can. The story goes Robert was given as a child to Eugene Otto in about 1904. Uh -huh. His origins are kind of sketchy, but legend has it that Robert is haunted. Ooh. Now, if you look, he's a pretty cool looking doll. He has a little lion. We'll place him right here. Robert, if you'd be so kind, move the rocking horse. Oh, look at that. Isn't that fantastic? Wow. We'll see if your strength is with you today. We have these little blocks. Let me move the horse mm, out of the way. Cute. Yeah. And we'll kind of stack these blocks up right here. Robert, if you'd be so kind, try and move the blocks. Oh, look at that. Terrific. All right. Now, you know what? People send Robert letters all the time. Here's an old crinkled up one. Dear Robert, please forgive me for taking your picture without asking. You have to ask to take the picture. Really? So, yeah, that's very important because he gets mad. We're going to wind this up and lay it right here. We'll see what happens. Watch. Concentrate if you would. Okay. Oh! <laughs> I, think, I think you got squished. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now Sherry. That almost you, <laughs> burnt you had my a hair. selected playing card prior to this demonstration. I did. Is that correct? We're gonna place this box of cards okay. right here. And for the first time, would you name your selected card? Three of hearts. Let's see what happens. With the three of hearts, please rise. Oh, look at that. And that is your card, correct? Yes, it is. All right, we're gonna do one more quick demonstration. I have over here, basically, Ooh. a jar. Okay. We're going to place it right here, and I'm going to attempt to catch the spirit. Ooh. We're going to get this cloth and cover it up. Let me put this over here so you can see a little bit better. All right. Now, Robert concentrates. We're going to try and capture the essence of mm. Robert. Okay. Sounds amazing. Sounds impossible. Watch. The jar that was empty, correct? Yes. Look at this. It is now spilled with a strange mist. Or Ooh, vapor. look at that. And it's I thank out. you for coming by today. Visit Roberts. Thank you.